Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to show you how to edit the slots on this Art Deco candle lamp design. Right here I have open one of the small versions here, but they're gonna, it's all going to work exactly the same way. I'm using Illustrator, but once again, you guys have done this before through all the different videos we've done, so it'll be very familiar to you. Here's how you do it. So the first thing you want to do, uh, or let me show you the first thing I'm going to point out is this ring of slots and this ring of slots are exactly the same. The only difference is the uh, diameter of the circle. So we're just going to edit this set of slots and then we'll just duplicate it for that one. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to move this one away from everything else because I'm going to want to be able to select all the slots without hitting something else accidentally. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So the first thing we need to know is how thick your material is. Just for the sake of this conversation, let's say that it's 0 0.14, 0 0.14, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and click on this item, right, this uh, shape right here, and in Illustrator, I'm gonna right click and release compound path right here. That will allow me to then edit these individual uh, slots and this looks like there's a lot going on here, but it's really not going to be that bad at all It'll take us a couple minutes. No big deal So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this slot right here. I'm going to copy and paste it Out over here so I can work with it Now I'm going to click transform up here so that I can see the size of it And we're never going to mess with the left to right or the length We're just going to mess with the width because that width, sorry, height, because that is what rep is represented by the thickness of your material. Okay, so right here you see the height is 0 0.1083. So we're going to change that to what I say, I think it was point, uh, we said 0 0.14. So now it's the right height for your material. And now I'm going to copy this to my clipboard because I'm going to use this thing over and over again. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this right here and then I'm going to shift click the circle so that I just have the slots, okay? Then I'm going to go to my layers panel and I'm going to find uh, the, the ones that are selected. I'm going to group those actually together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock those so I don't actually accidentally move them. You understand what I'm doing here? I don't want to accidentally move these yet. I want to uh, replace them with this new slot, but I don't want to move them yet until I'm ready. So I've locked them so I don't move them, all right? Now, of course, I'm going to copy this to my clipboard, like I said, and I'm going to paste one. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the color of this so it's really easy for me to see that I'm, what I'm working with. So I'm going to change it to something like green. You absolutely do not have to do this, okay? I'm just doing that so it's easy for me to see where I'm at. So I'm going to paste one, and I'm going to put it right on top of this. Now, I want to point out to you that it's not critical that it's absolutely perfect, um, but we'll do the best we can visually there. And I'm going to go to outline mode so that I can see it a little easier. So command Y on a Mac outline mode. And there's my first new one there. Then I'm going to paste again. And I'm going to uh, put it right over here. I'm going to uh, get the angle about right and put it right there. I'm going to get that angle just a little better. Copy and paste again. And... By the way, I want to point out to you that when we do these, we don't have to actually do them all. We can copy and paste some of these because they're going to be the same angle as some of the other ones, all right? So we're going to get that a little better. Move that one up here. And then I got one more to do, paste. Bring it over here. Turn it, get it about the right angle. About like that. And then, now you notice, if I take this one, these four that I just did, I'll select them all. And then if I copy them to my clipboard and then paste them, I can rotate this guy right like this. And I can put him right on top of these and check that out. I've got a whole bunch more done really fast. And then if I really want to be cool, of course, I can paste it again. Or I can even copy those other ones and, and paste them. But check this out. See, now we did it really, really fast. And then paste one more time and rotate. By the way, I'm holding shift down to rotate like that and it just, uh, it stops on 45 degree angles. So something like that right there. All right. Then I'm going to get out of outline mode. So now I've got all my greens there. All I got to do now 
is I can just ditch this group right here, just drag it to the trash. And now I've got my new set of, of slots there and I'm almost done. So now all I gotta do is select this again, shift click the, um, the circle to get rid of that. I'm gonna group it together and I'm gonna copy and paste. I got the same thing here, right? I'm going to then uh, select this group over here. Oh, I need to, sorry, I need to release the compound path here. I'm gonna then select it all again. Oh, and see, here's one of the cool, th let, me, let me back up, undo a couple times. You remember how I moved it away from everything? That allows me to just select over something without hitting something else. So now if I release compound path here and then select it all again and then shift click the circle, I can just delete uh, you know, the existing ones. And then now I can just bring this back in there. I can select them both and then uh, align it, center, and check that out. We are all done. So that was just a couple minutes at most. It probably took me longer because I was talking, but that's all it takes to edit for your material thicknesses.